The gateway services within the VMware vCloud Hybrid service include multiple customizable networking options. In this video, we'll take a closer look at load balancing. We're already logged into the portal, so let's start by clicking our SharePoint Virtual Data Center. Let's go to the Gateways tab and click Manage in vCloud Director. In the vCloud Director user interface, we'll navigate to the Edge Gateways tab. From here, the first thing we need to find out is what external IPs are available. So let's go to Properties, and then the Sub Allocate IP Pools tab. Shown here is the range of available IPs. In this case, we have .230 and .231. Let's head to the Load Balancer tab and create a new pool of servers, which will be used to sit behind the actual load balancer. Click Add and then fill in the information. We'll use the name Demo Pool and then click Next to select the services we want. We'll also choose the load balancing method. IP hash simply selects a server based on the hash of the source IP address for each packet. Round robin goes in turn depending on the weight assigned to it, while least connected goes to the server with the fewest current connections. URI is hashed and divided by the total weight of the running servers, and the result designates which server receives the request. Let's choose round robin and then click Next. Now it's time to configure the health check. We have some options here too. With HTTP, you can choose either HTTP or TCP as the health check mode. With HTTPS, you can choose either SSL or TCP as the mode, and TCP supports only a TCP health check. Notice that you can also decide which monitor port to use, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we won't monitor the health check. Now let's add the different servers. Again, click Add and then fill in the information. For the IP address, Let's enter 192.168.109.10. Here is where the server weight gets assigned, and if we want to enable monitoring, we can designate the ports for the service and the monitor. For this example, let's say 80 for the service and 8080 for the monitor. Click OK and then continue to add as many servers as needed. Note here that because we left the ratio weight the same, our servers are even. Finally, to create the pool, click Next and then Finish. Now we need to create a virtual server on top of that pool to act as the load balancer and connection to the external network. So let's switch to Virtual Server and click Add. We'll name the virtual server Demo Server and apply it on the external network because we want to access it from the outside. Here we'll enter one of the available IP addresses we identified earlier and then we'll set the persistence method to either cookie or none. Click OK, and here we can verify that our demo server has been created. The final step is to configure the firewall to accommodate load balancing. Let's move to the Firewall tab to create a firewall rule. You can see here the SharePoint rule that we set up. For our current example, we might configure a rule that allows traffic from port 80 to come in. And that's how simple it is to set up a load balancer on the vCloud hybrid service. You now know how to load balance traffic among all the servers in a particular pool.